person is the predicament and the predicament that he's in and the situation that he's in. You can then translate your opinion of his status and give a diagnosis, right? That is through your knowledge, a gnosis, through a dia, right? Through your knowledge, you then can give an assessment of this man's condition. And you can say, I know what's wrong with your condition. One, two, three, four, five. That's a diagnosis. Mm -hmm. On the basis of the diagnosis then, he can then give a treatment plan And on the basis of that treatment plan, he can start a process going to reverse the condition. But he must also have a follow-up. A follow-up plan to make sure that the kinds of changes that he's introducing, in fact, occur in the way in which they should. <clears throat> now, if the subject, this person, he's only a person at this point, believes that this person with the knowledge can, in fact, make this kind of a diagnosis and give this kind of a treatment plan and follow up, he then has to risk something, has to risk. There's always a risk in this kind of knowing. Have to risk that maybe he is correct. Maybe he's right about his diagnosis. The person never knows as much as the person with the knowledge, and therefore he has to believe that, in fact, they have the knowledge they claim to have. Faith, believe. Faith is something else. They have to have some belief. Now, if that person now goes the next step and says, I think that I can engage you, at that moment, he must voluntarily, it must be voluntarily, he voluntarily enters into a relationship. It must be voluntarily. And when he does that, he changes his status. He's no longer a person. He becomes a patient. And he gets a new name. And when he enters into this relationship, this person no longer merely has knowledge but he now is your physician. Actually now, notice, these are fancy words to disguise some truth, and I'd like to introduce the truth. What he really becomes is a subject. And when he enters into this relationship voluntarily, he is really his ruler. He is really a ruler. And as a result of that, because of his knowledge and because this person entered into the relationship voluntarily, he then has the right to command the subject and order that subject to follow a certain course of behavior. He has the right to say, take this medicine, do this kind of thing. That's his, that is his right. It's his right because of the knowledge. Because of that then, he now becomes in the full sense a ruler. Now, in the course of the treatment plan, this subject may endure and go through even greater pain and suffering than they had before accepting that physician as their physician and treatment master. So they may go through more pain, endure greater hardships, <clears throat> change their way of life, their relationships, and the whole question of course is, why would anyone want to do that? Take the easiest case of all, the dentist. Would you not agree that the dentist, we have all suffered under a dentist, and would you not agree you go through greater pain with the dentist than you would at any other time? Why, why are we so foolish then to endure more pain 
experience greater hardships, change our way of life, why do we go through all of this? Are we not then becoming masochists and allowing this person in charge to produce such pain upon us? What's, there's only one reason. What's the reason? And then in that sense, to avoid a greater pain, one big word, benefit. A perfect example of this is the movie King George. Mm -hmm. He went to the doctor and the doctor took over his complete life. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the only reason we're willing to go through this? Benefit. Let's try one more thing. If the subject if our subject, who changes it, right, he changed his name from merely being an individual person, he becomes a patient because he enters into this relationship voluntarily, because he has a certain belief. The belief is that by entering into this relationship, even though he may go through greater distress than he had before, he's doing it because he thinks in the long run he may benefit, and that may in fact change the what might be inevitable worst conditions. If he